Hey guys, welcome back to OMFG Network. I am Tyson, as always with me is Craig. Hey guys. And today we are going to be talking about one of our favorite games, The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, uh, sort of in honor of The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim coming out in just a couple days, and we are very excited about it. Craig? It's true. Coming out on 11, 11, 11, which is kind of, kind of a cool date for them to start on. I like that. It's true. It's, not, it's actually one of the only games that I've seen in, of late that doesn't come out on a Tuesday. That is unique. I don't know why games come out on a Tuesday. I don't know who... It comes out on a Friday, which is, in my mind, that's the day games should come out. It comes out, it's it should perfect. Come out on a Friday, because I'm not going to get to play my game on Wednesday or Thursday. Most of us have jobs. That's true. At least. I wish I didn't have a job. That would be um, fantastic. But, but, uh, but we do. So, we do. you know, coming out on Friday seems like a better plan to me. Um, one of the things I really liked about Oblivion was the just the sheer scale of the game itself. Absolutely. I really like the, um, you know, you have, you have a big, huge, what was it, a five mile by five mile square world? I think, uh, it was, I think so. I think it was a, I think it was five by five. Um, but what that did is that allowed for the game to have literally hundreds, I know people who got about 200 hours worth of gameplay out of the game. And that kind of speaks to the value that uh, Bethesda put into the game itself, the depth of the game and how much uh, playtime you get out of it. And so, to me, you know, you can say that Oblivion is probably, for the money, one of the best games out on Xbox 360 so far, barring games like Halo and uh, Gears of War, Mo Call of Duty. Um, their ca those campaigns are really, really short, but the multiplayer makes the game better worth True. the buy, as True. opposed to, say, a Fable, where you get, say, 12 to 16 hours. That type of game has its own merits, but you don't get the value uh, you know, you gotta pay 60 bucks for the game, you should get quite a few hours out of it. It's true, yeah. It's absolutely phenomenal, the length of Oblivion. Um, I think you saw a little bit of that in Morrowind, but Oblivion, definitely one of the longest games I have personally ever played. Um, it's crazy when you start measuring your game playtime in days. Mm -hmm. You know, not just oh, yeah. hours, you're just literally like, oh, I've played this for five days. You're like, oh, that's, that's five days of your life spent yeah. in... In uh, Oblivion, well, hopefully not Oblivion, hopefully in yeah. the world of Tamriel, and yeah. not too much in Oblivion, but, yeah. anyhow, yeah, the size was incredible, and along with the size, uh, how detailed the world was, and I'm going to say even more specifically, how much was in the world, such as, how many other games do you have a spoon and a bowl and a carrot That's true. in your inventory, and... At any one point in time. At any one point in time, like, I've never had a spoon in another game Ever, um, I don't, and I've played Oblivion a lot. I don't even know what I used the spoon for. I always sold them because yeah, it, you can't really sell them for very much either. It's not like they're a no, big commodity or anything. They're not, and uh, they, I, you know, once you accumulate too many spoons, bowls, forks, uh, stuff like that, you can't move anymore. It's true. Yeah, sometimes you get to the point <laughs> where that spoon, no, that spoon is just too much. I can't walk anymore. <laughs> I picked up this spoon. Game over, we're just gonna stop you. I will have to drop some of my spoons before I can walk anymore. That's Your character absolutely. just pretty much, he is up in revolt, he's like, hell no, I ain't carrying any more of this stuff <laughs> until you drop at least one spoon. You have to, it's like, I'm a purveyor of tableware. Yeah. Like, oh, you need some tableware? Let me uh, open up my, uh, my magic bag here. Oh no, that's a battle axe, that's a piece of armor. Oh, here's my spoons, forks, and bowls. Oh, and I even got a pewter plate in there as well. Just Luckily, to... it's even categorized in there it's for you. It's categorized as housewares. Actually, that'd be a fantastic menu item for Oblivion uh, because you the menus got, they were pretty, they were pretty beefy, pretty long. Yeah, actually um, I kind of hope they fix that type of thing with the new Skyrim. I do hope so. Skyrim. I, I hope that this is a little hope bit better. We have sort of a Bed Bath & Beyond style labeling where <laughs> I can go to like armor, weapons, housewares, yep. bedding, you know, something along those this lines. This good drop down menu would help out a little bit. Absolutely, a good drop down menu. I played it on Xbox 360 and PC and I have to say the PC helped with the menus but that's only because you could Insta scroll to the bottom by dragging the scroll bar on Xbox. You still have to, you know, scroll all the way down. Uh, well, I think that the the things like the spoon kind of speak to again to the the size and the depth of the game. I exactly. mean, it's kind of cool because you know you go and you go and you can buy a house. And I had friends who, for whatever reason, you know, he 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 collected all of these spoons and bowls and he puts them in a pile in what in his room in his castle or whatever. Or you know he. 
picks up all this cool looking armor that isn't any good anymore and then yep. he can make a whole display out of it. And it just, it's things like that. The game's not designed for that, but because the game is designed in a way that um, it mimics reality in the correct, w in certain ways, that it allows you to do things you could do in real life, even if it's not really part of the game. It's not really designed into the game, but it's something it's that true. you can actually do, which kind of, I don't know, that's always a good thing when they don't, when a game developer adds in I think at least a bunch of you know invisible walls, or they you know you can't jump or anything like that. Even if Indeed. even if jumping is not important in the game, being able to jump is something that you just feel so you, you don't feel jump. contained. Like in Fable, you can't jump and you feel nope. you feel restrained. And I, I think that part of video games is being you know free to do it's do whatever true. the hell you want, like assassinate people in Assassin's Creed or whatever. Exactly. And uh, yeah, speaking about the house thing, I think we have a mutual friend uh, who dropped. One piece of gold at a time in the room until they had a stack of treasure. It's true. And that... And sometimes, and if you drop them in bulk, if you, like one time he dropped like 10,000 coins all at once and just crashed his whole computer because there's too many, because the game actually rendered 10,000 coins all at once. Just That was actually me. Everywhere. Oh, was that you? That was me. I, I cheated in. Uh, it was more than 10,000. It was okay. something like 500,000 pieces of gold. I said, drop all at once, and my computer just basically gave me the blue screen of death and shut down. Nice. I need a better computer, but hey, hey, it plays Oblivion in some other games. So there you go. I like it. Right on. But that does. That's that. That's the depth of the game. Like in no other game, uh, except for like Fable Three, but it really was a whole different type of thing. Mm -hmm. Like you can't have a palace with different treasures and and all this various things. And that even though it didn't play to the plot of the game. It, it made the game world a little richer. It made you feel like you had a bigger effect on the game, and I think that's really important. Yeah, I agree. Well, also one of the other cool, well, one of the funny things, I think, was that, so you're walking around and you're just like, man, I am a badass. It's like, true. I've saved the world five times over. <laughs> I am the hugest guy, and then you're in this store talking to this storekeeper, and you're just like, I, okay, you go to click on his head and oh, I accidentally grabbed a spoon over his shoulder and he's like, oh my gosh, thief! And you're just like, no, no, <laughs> not thief! <laughs> not I thief. saved your life specifically five times. You can let me take this spoon and at least try to drop it before you accuse me of being a thief. It's How about true. you screw yourself? <laughs> or I'll kill you like I'll I did you. all the other people. <laughs> like, it's absolutely Just true. Chill the fuck. Speaking about that, in Oblivion, like no other game, I had the most awesome resume. It's a resume I'd love to have in real life. It's true. I'm like, oh, what did you do? I'm the hero of Tamriel. I'm the hero of all this stuff. I'm the hero of Kvetch. I'm the king. I'm, I'm the, the king. I'm the head of the Mages Guild, head of the Fighters Guild. I'm the head of the Dark Brotherhood. I yeah. am Lord Shagorath. Uh, you know, sort of a demigod in my own right. And then people see you on the street and they're like, oh, hello, citizen. What up, dude? I'm like, no, it's like if you ran into the Pope, the President, the leader of the UN, and, I don't know, Superman, all in one person. You're just like, and you're just like, hey, what hey, up, dude? Hey, dude. It's not like, oh, my gosh, look at this person. It's like, eh, I've met more important people than you. <laughs> like, no, no, you haven't. I am literally the most important person in this world. Ever call me call me Mister or Mrs. Yeah. If you played a female, yeah, you know something. At least a sir. At least a sir. I yeah. give people in real life sirs. This is yeah, and I'm not, I'm not even the Pope. That's true. I mean, I don't know if the Pope gives a lot of sirs. I, I don't know if the Pope gives sirs. I've I, never talked to him, nor have I. But anyway, those are just a few things we love about Oblivion. I'm sure we'll be talking about it again because, yes, we will. as I mentioned, it's it is a huge game. It's a huge game. It's one of our favorite games. And Skyrim is coming out 11 11 11, and we are extremely excited. Thanks for joining us again. I'm Craig. Or, no, I'm, I'm Tyson. No, I'm Craig. You're Tyson. This is Craig. I'm Tyson. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. See you guys.